Hey everybody, it's Jackie Kunkel in for Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 71. Do you believe it? I keep saying this every time. 71, um, I am back. I was um, away last week. Oh, lost network connection. Oh, here we go. We're live again. Sorry about that, guys. Seems like it. For some reason, when I start the video, it seems like we pop in and out of uh, network connection. Don't know why. But anyway, I'm back. Last week, I told you I was away um, in Oregon. I was visiting uh, my friend, Marie Bostwick, but it was, a, it was a visit, but a business trip as well. Hey, Sue, how are you? Uh, so I taught um, at two guilds. I did two lectures. It was fabulous. Um, but it was cold in Oregon and hey everybody welcome in today is a special um, uh, Watch me Wednesday because I'm gonna do something a little different today So hit the share button because it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hi everybody Welcome back. Welcome back um, the, This is gonna be super duper special I have to say too and I hope not everybody got too confused, but I know we go through this every time we either spring ahead or fall behind. Arizona never does anything. So we're always in the same time zone, Mountain Standard Time. We did not go ahead. So for those of you who went ahead, um, the only people that are now caught up with us is Pacific Time. They are now in the same time zone per se as we are. Everybody else is an extra hour ahead. So if you're on the East Coast, you're three hours ahead of me now before you were two. It's always three in the spring and summer and two in the fall and winter that the East Coast is ahead of us. So anyway, I've got a giveaway for you today that you're not going to want to miss. So hit that share button because it's a special, special day. So I thought because I was away, I um, no, you didn't miss me, Laura. Remember, three hours ahead now. Yay, thank you for all the love. You're going to love this even more. Hit the share button. So while I was away, obviously I didn't get a whole lot done as far as quilting. I'm trying to get caught up um, with some of the things that I need to do as far as sewing. But because I spent the week with my friend Marie Boswick, whom a lot of you know and some of you may not know, um, she is an author and I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of spin my Watch Me Wednesday just a little bit. I'm going to tell, talk to you and I have a stack over here of my types of books that I like to read. So I'm going to share some of those with you and I would love to hear what kind of books you read and what's on your nightstand because it's kind of fun and there, there may be a few little surprises in here of some of the books that I, I read. Um, hey everybody, welcome in. Hit the share button. We're gonna do, we're gonna get right into it now. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have read, some of the things that are on my to, to read list, some of the things that are on my nightstand right now. And then at the end, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So, here we go. I'm gonna first show you the book that I'm currently reading because I can't read this other book right now because my husband's reading it, so I have to wait till he's done with it. <laughs> anyway, so some of the types of books that I like to read are, I like thrillers, psychological thrillers, I like mur murder mysteries, mysteries. I also love the quilting genre too, the quilting um, novels, and I'm gonna show you a few of those. So this is what I'm currently reading, Harlan Coben. Have, ha, do any of you ever, have you ever read any of his books? I've seen a couple of his shows on uh, Netflix. I really liked him. So I picked up this book um, while I was at a book signing for my neighbor, Isabella Maldonado, who I'm going to show you her books too. So you're going to get to see some of her things as well. So anyway, this is the book that I'm currently reading and I got sucked right on into this one. It's really super good. Um, I also, by the way, I like time travel too. This is uh, a, a mystery, so um, kind of like a murder mystery, although I don't think she's really dead, but I'm not sure yet. So I haven't gotten too, too far. I read it on the plane to and from Oregon. So that is what I'm currently reading, and that is on my nightstand, okay? So here my here is a little surprise for you. This is another thing that is in my to-read a lot of you know that I like fitness and I run and and I work out every day. 
Um, this is all, this is in my to read, Let Your Mind Run, a memoir, uh, Thinking My Way to Victory. She is actually an Olympic um, athlete, and I really kind of want to get, you know how sometimes you want to pick somebody's brain and figure out how they got to where they got to? Well, this is what this book is about. So, ooh, another murder mystery. Awesome. Hey, Denise. Um, so her name is Dina Castor, and this is on my to-read list, and I can't wait to find out what her secrets are to becoming a, a really um, fantastic athlete. Not that I'm going to be, or, or do I aspire to be like her, but I'm just curious what makes her tick. Don't you kind of do that sometimes? Now, one of the things my husband is a big reader, uh, too, he loves a lot of nonfiction. So he's, uh, he, in fact, that's almost all he reads. He very rarely reads fiction. Um, but he also kind of likes to hear, um, awesome, there's Isabella, she's here. So Isabella is one of the authors I'm featuring, and we're going to be giving away something from her. She's giving you something, so you got to stay tuned and hit that share button. Share this video guys so that everybody else can see what's going on so um and actually isabella was the one who recommended this book that i'm currently reading because my husband's reading your book right now isabella which i can't get to until he's done so <laughs> anyway so another genre uh, that i like to read and i told you i was up at my friend marie's last week you, and a lot of you know marie bostwick so um Thanks for sharing, Laura. A lot of you know Marie Boswick because you've read her books. So the first time I met Marie was in Connecticut because she lived there um, very close to me. And this was the first book that she put out in the Cobbled Court Quilt series, which I loved because it it is about a group of women who kind of get involved. And a lot of you I know have read that. How many of you know Marie Bostwick? Raise your hand, right? She's a New York Times best-selling author. If you don't know her, you got to know her. You got to go on. I'll put links above me. I'm going to put links to um, Marie and I'll put links to Isabella up there. And I'm also going to tell you about how, what we're giving away at the end. So you guys stay with me in the video. We're giving away something really cool. And I'll tell you how to get in the giveaway. So Marie Boswick, this was her very first book. This was her second book, A Single Thread which is awesome. Now she's got a, like a bajillion out. Anyway, this is her newest book that drops on March 26th, so it's coming up. And yep, she gave me a copy while I was there. Woohoo! I was so excited. And of course, Marie signed it for me um, because I just love her. And anyway, so this is her newest book. So you will have to um, pick this up as soon as it drops. March 26th, and I'll put links. I'm sure you can probably pre-order it on um, Amazon. Um, I hope the windows in the back aren't too bright and, you know, um, disturbing you. They're kind of disturbing me, so I hope they're not disturbing you. Anyway, so this is her newest book, and, uh, you know, she's got about, let's see how many books she's got out. She's got six in the Cobbled Court Quilt series, this being, or this being the seventh one. And then, of course, she's got uh, the Texas novel. She's got two of those. And then she's got her other novels. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. And then she's got a few novellas. So if you haven't heard of Marie, you got to pick her up. Hope on the Inside is her newest book. So that is also on my to read, okay? Now, I'm going in, in, in kind of an order here. And we're going to get to Isabella's book in a minute. So her books, three books. So hang, hang tight. So I told you, I like like mysteries, psychological thrillers and stuff. So this is an author. I picked this up in the, in a bookstore. I think I was in the airport, which is not kind of unlike me because I seem to be always in an airport, but, um, Sherry, uh, Lapina and, uh, the couple next door. And it just sounded really intriguing to me. You ever pick up a book and you're like, gosh, it sounds so good. So I picked it up and I actually read it, um, the whole thing on my flight to and from where I'm going. So of course, then I had to pick up her next book, which was A Stranger in the House, which was awesome, really good. Um, and I do have some books on um, Kindle. How many of you like eBooks? Um, 
I'm just starting to do ebooks. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of them to begin with, but my neighbor kind of got me into it. So it's actually really good if you don't want to carry the books around, especially if you're traveling. So anyway, again, we're doing a giveaway at the end, so hit that share button. Now, back to the quilting genre, okay? So I'm sure a lot of you heard of Jennifer Shiverini, right? Uh, this was her very first book that she put out, The Quilter's Apprentice, and I loved it. Loved it. And I actually have all her books. So I'm going to show you just a couple of them. This was the second one, Round Robin. And then The Runaway Quilt. Just really endearing stories that I think that really anybody can get into. Not just a quilter, but I think a quilter kind of understands a little more of what is happening there. Hey, Cindy, how are you? So, all right. I'm going to show you these real quick, right? Your Nook app has so many <laughs> So should I move it to put put all my books on the uh, e, uh, do ebooks now? I don't know. I sometimes how many of you like to crack a book? I like to crack open a book and have it physically there too. So I'm going to show you these. This is just a teaser. These are this is from my neighbor who's uh, an author. We're going to show you that at the end. Okay, so hang tight. So here's another quirky book. Um, Sue primarily reads ebooks because I adjust the size of print. That's actually a really good reason to read ebooks, especially if you have trouble reading some of the uh, print or the font that's in some of the books. Some of them can be really small, especially those mass market paperbacks. So, anyway, here's kind of a quirky book that I picked up when I was in Oregon. Your inner, inner critic is a big jerk and other truths about being creative. So, I know so many people in, in my field, what I do, and we all criticize, we are our own worst critics. And I saw this book and I thought, I need to pick this up and I need to get a little advice because although others may see us as being creative, I think sometimes we um, are very hard on ourselves. So I think it's a lighthearted book. Um, so I'll let you know when I get to that one. Okay, a few more before we get to Isabella's and the giveaway, okay? So I just picked this one up too when I was in um, Oregon because uh, my friends and I, um, my friends and I who work out together and run together, we actually went and saw this movie. It's called Free Solo, was the movie we saw. And Alex Honland, he's the guy who, he free, free climbs the rocks and he climbed El Capitan. I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but boy, oh boy, it was, it was like a white knuckle kind of movie. And, um, <laughs> don't you love that Isabella? I, I will keep it and let you borrow it if you like. Um, anyway, so I bought this book because I really wanted to see some of the other, uh, things that he had conquered. Um, besides El Capitan, it just, I don't know why it intrigues me, but partly, probably partly because my husband and I like to hike a lot, so we're out there. Um, but knowing what he did, he did these things, he climbed, you know, just with his hands and feet. No, no ropes, no um, picks, no nothing. And it was just amazing. So I kind of wanted to read a little bit more about him. Um, and I think my husband's probably going to pick up on that too because, like I told you, he reads a lot of nonfiction. So another um, kind of back to the quilting genre, um, De, uh, Claire O'Donoghue. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Claire O'Donoghue. It's like, but she writes like a mystery um, and kind of intertwines the quilting in there. I love these books. They're great. So these are awesome. So... Um, Claire O'Donoghue, um, and she's got several out. These are just two that I pulled off my shelf. I've read these both, and they're really good. Another one of my favorite, favorite authors of all times, and I have all of her books, is Mary Higgins Clark. This is the newest one that I just picked up, and I got to read them. They're usually a really quick read, and I bet you there's some of you out there that love Mary Higgins Clark, too. I got the opportunity to meet her once years ago, actually here in Arizona when I was visiting uh, my parents, she was doing a book signing and I don't even know which book on my shelf that she signed, but I was so 
pleased. I just love her books. Um, I really, really, really do. And because I love her books so much, I had to start reading her daughter's books, Carol Higgins Clark. So I don't know if any of you have read Carol Higgins Clark, but she's phenomenal too. Sim similar vein mystery type book. Um, this book came recommended to me from Marie Boswick when we were at bookstore there in Oregon last week she said have you ever read Louise Penny and I said I have not so she said you've got to pick up this book you will fall in love so okay we're almost to the end in the giveaway stick with me people everybody share hit that share button so one of my favorite books of all times that is not a mystery not um, a non-fiction well it is non-fiction so I correct myself, but it is one of the most hysterical, laugh out loud, funny dang books you'll ever read is Bill Bryson, A Walk in the Woods. Um, my husband was reading this years ago and he was reading it and he's laughing and laughing and I'm like, what the heck are you reading? So he says, when I'm done with this book, you've got to read this. So um, I read it and I read it probably in one sitting. So if you've never read this book, you've got to, got to get it. It's called The Walk in the Woods. Um, Bill Bryson, it's about his adventure um, hiking the Appalachian Trail. And while I was in Oregon, I bought it for Marie Boswick because she said she'd never read it. And I couldn't believe that. I said, you need this book. So I pulled it off the bookshelf store, uh, the bookshelf on the, in the bookstore and bought it for her, gave it to her as a gift. So you need to get this book. Now, drum roll please. This is for, we're gonna talk about the giveaway and I'm also gonna talk about Isabella. Everybody say hi to Isabella because she's here listening in and we're gonna talk about her books. So, she, um, Isabella happens to be my neighbor. She is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet and I got to go, some of you probably saw my posts last week. I got, I went, this is the second book signing of hers that I went to. She just um, put out her newest book in the series the newest book, Death Blow, and you see I can't read it yet because my husband has a bookmark in it. He's reading it right now. I will not get to read it until he's done. It looks like he's about halfway through, okay? So Isabella wrote these books. They're mysteries, and they are a series. Isabella used to be a, well, I can read it right off here. She was a former police officer. Her, she, it says on the bookmark, by the way, Maldonado, a former law enforcement officer, brings her experience and expertise to this gripping police procedural. It is phenomenal. She, a woman is the main character. Actually, let me show you the first book. Blood's Echo is the first book, okay? Um, so it, it kind of goes in order. I think that's the way I like to read them. Isabella, I don't know if you can... Um, Correct me on that, but I think reading the first book would probably be the best thing. You got, I got, that's right, you did. <laughs> so, Laura Swenson got to wear her t-shirt, because we have t-shirts of, um, we have Phoenix Burning t-shirts, and we also have Death Blow t-shirts. Um, I think, I don't know if there were Blood's Echoes t-shirts, but yeah, Laura got to wear your t-shirt because her luggage got lost when she was here visiting Isabella. <laughs> so... Anyway, this is the first in the series. Really, really good. If you like, so so here you go. Isabella's talking to you guys. She's saying, police detective series set here in Phoenix. So for those of you who know Phoenix or ever wanted to travel to Phoenix, here's a kind of a great way to kind of infuse yourself there. Um, just a little bit, but, but this is kind of some of the bad side too. Just, just saying. But there's a lot of good about Phoenix, too, but it's gripping stuff. So, anyway, so this is the first in the series. Then, the second in the seri series is Phoenix Burning, okay? Um, so, you definitely want to, I think, pick up this one first. And then go on to Phoenix Burning. And then her newest one that she just dropped that I went to the, um, we went to the book signing is Death Blow, okay? So, Actually, let me read to you a little off of this first one, okay, off of the back. So just to kind of give you a little idea of what it's all about. So, Detective Veranda Cruz leads an elite task force on the Phoenix Police Drug Enforcement Bureau. 
Bartolo Vill I can never say this, Isabella. Vill Villalobos is the heir apparent to the most powerful cartel in the world. No one in the department suspects the secret motive behind Miranda's obsession with the cartel until an operation goes horribly wrong. Targeted by an increasingly unstable drug lord, Veranda must protect her family and stay clear of, the, of adversaries within the force while she sets a trap for Bartolo. As the desert action heats up, Veranda and her new homicide team, along with an arson investigator who kindles a flame for her, are all drawn into a deadly gambit. Taking down Bartolo is the ultimate goal, but Veranda, ready to trade life for justice? I don't know. So uh, Isabella is saying, if, I don't know if you can all see, if you like the Law and Order shows, this series is for you. That's actually a great, great way to, um, to, oh my God, my mind. That's a great, great way to describe it. So anyway, so that's the first, second, and third. So here's the deal. Here's the dealio, everybody. Who would like to have some of these books? Raise your hands if you'd like to have some of these books. Hit that share button if you'd like to have some of these books. Who would like some of these books? They're great. If you, and if they're not even your genre, they'd be great to give as gifts too, right? So if you would like these books, we're going to do two giveaways. The giveaway, Laura, you want one. You have to have one, right? Because you wore the shirt. The first giveaway is going to be we're going to do one of the very first book. Judith wants one too. We're going to do, um, and Demaray wants one too. Um, Blood's Echo. We're going to give away one copy of Blood's Echo. Patricia wants one. And then here's the coup de gras. We're going to give away a set of all three. Of all three. And Sue wants one. And Sue lives right here in the Phoenix area too. Awesome, Sue. So we're going to give away three books too. So there are going to be two giveaways, but here's what you need to do. And I'm going to put the links above me after the video. So I'm going to keep the giveaway open through Monday midnight, midnight my time. Okay. So Mountain Standard Time. Um, ooh, Gail, it's your favorite genre. Awesome. That's awesome. So, and Nedra too. Awesome. Yay. So Lisa wants, wants three. She's got three hands up. <laughs> anyway, through midnight, there's Marie, Marie is here, Marie is here. We were talking about your books, lady. Welcome in. So anyway, so if you want to win one of Blood's Echo or even one of the set of my neighbor Isabella's books, whom you're gonna love, you've got to do, when I put the links up, you're gonna go and like her page Okay, and write a comment and say, hi, Isabella, how you doing? I can't wait to read your books. That's the one thing you're going to do. If you're on Instagram, and I know a lot of you might not be on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, go like her page on Instagram and follow her there. And then the third thing is I want you to write a comment here in this video, under this video. And I want you to say what your favorite genre is and what you might want to read first. Do you want to read them in order or do you not want to read them in order? So Blood's Echo was first. This, oh, that's Death Blow, sorry. Blood's Echo, Phoenix Burning, and Death Blow. So Death Blow being the newest one. So which, which one would you want to read first? So, so Marie says, good, they should read it all. Marie, I had all your books up here too. Yay, but I'm glad you're here. Um, anyway, so you got to do those things before Monday at midnight my time, okay? And then whoever wins, you will, I will message you. There'll be two winners. I'll message you and you'll have to message me back with your uh, snail mail address so that we can get those books off to you. And I believe that Isabella will sign those copies for you too, right Isabella? I'm hoping that, that, that you will be able to sign those. And Lisa's watching. Lisa, do you wanna win these books? We've got a giveaway going on. So anyway, so you saw my, um, what's on my nightstand or my to do, to read list. I would love to know in your comments too, what are some of the books or what you're reading right now? What book you're reading right now and what you might want to read. 
or have on your list to read. So those are some of the things. So I would have to read in order. Laura says, yes, yeah. yes, Isabella will sign them for you. Awesome. So hit the share button. That's the number one thing to do. Hit the share button because we got to share it in order to spread the love. And then I'm going to go to um, Isabella's Facebook page, like that, leave her a comment, follow her on Instagram, if you're on Instagram. And then last but not least, leave a comment here telling me your favorite genre, which book you'd like to read first, and um, what book you're reading right now, okay? I'll put that all above me so you don't have to remember it, okay? Anyway, next week I'll come back with something quilty, and I hope to see you all then. In the meantime, have a wonderful, happy first day of spring, everybody. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.